spread this to this channel to as many people as you can get as many people to subscribe to this channel in particular i'm not doing pranks i'm putting heavy machinery on the table i'll try and create the most get the most cutting edge arguments and present them to you but guys for your argument to hold you need to show that the fundamental particles don't depend What's on anything here? okay all right so here's the thing what you what you and aaron couldn't deal with is and uh, this is the new atheist movement subhanallah the new atheist movement is crumbling right in front of me one by one every single one of them cannot deal with this argument and it's not because of by the way look it's, it's then at how deceived this man is and amazed with himself subhanallah the, the new atheist movement is crumbling right before me why muhammad is getting excited for only allah knows because there is, there is no overpowering, there's nothing that has taken place uh, during any of these debates that would make anyone want to get excited. But he believes he's achieved something. The atheist movement is crumbling right in front of me, one by one, every single one of them. And actually, the onlookers and the one who watches, watches the video who's got no clue about the argument itself, it just appears that, you know, whatever he's saying, he must have overpowered them because look how he's going on. So it appears to them that he's done something because many of them don't understand the argument anymore. The new atheist movement is crumbling right in front of me. One by one, every single one of them cannot deal with this argument. And it's not because of, by the way, it's, it's, I can't believe it. Like, you know, it really, all it, all it took was just a little bit of bringing out an argument and the whole new atheist movement in front of my very okay. eyes Could is crumbling. Could you, instead of preaching, now, make your argument? No, no, I will make my argument, Julia. Grandstanding, not preaching. Yes, sorry. Pardon? Grandstanding, not preaching. Is that right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So your question was that particles uh, don't depend on anything, they're independent. I'm saying to you... No, I'm saying you have to show that. Do you believe that particles are independent? Uh, of what? You said just don't, please don't retract your argument. So that now uh, he claims that she's retracting her argument. Of course, the cameras are, uh, are looking uh, and so we have to make the affair look good. Don't retract your argument now, don't retract it. She, was, she wasn't in actually making an argument. She was saying you prove that these fundamental particles are dependent upon this wajib wujud that you're speaking don't of. Don't retract your argument, because I'm, watch this Josh. This is what Christian missionaries need to learn. But then he turns no. to Josh, he says, watch this Josh, watch, watch, watch how, watch how I deal with her basically. And this is the, again, uh, a, a, a show and a display that indicates quite clearly that this one does not have the wisdom of Dao and the wisdom of the Dai. And this is not how we give that one, how we call to Allah, which are humiliating individuals uh, who may genuinely have a genuine question that they wish for you to prove. Ud'u ila sabili rabbika bil hikmati wal mawidati al-hasana wa jadilhum bil latihi ahsan. Call to the way of your Lord bil hikma with wisdom and with good sermon and argue with them in a way that is better. That is what Allah has commanded us. What I'm this off yeah, is yeah. the standard model, which is yeah. the best model we have for the universe right now. It right. is incomplete. All physicists perfect, will perfect. admit that it's incomplete. No problem. But Julia, you said that the particles, uh, fundamental particles, don't yes. depend on every, anything. Definitely, they're not composed of anything else. No, no. You said, unless you want to retract that statement, which is what every atheist does when they're in front of me, now you said that fundamental particles don't depend on anything. I believe that to be the case. Right. I do not claim that it's perfect, the truth. Perfect. Now, do you believe that fundamental particles don't depend on anything? Uh, I believe that to be the case, Excellent. but I'm not claiming that Julia. that's true. She, she repeats the question. She repeats her answer. I believe that that's the case. And, and, and I'm, saying, I'm not saying that is the 100% truth, but that is what we were taught. You prove your point. Thank you for saying that, because now what you've shown is that you believe in the existence of an independent being. <laughs> but How pathetic is, really is this response of Muhammad Hijab? She, she, there's, there is no issue, there's no point being made. She, she, doesn't, she didn't accept any of what he's claiming. Thank you for saying that, because now what you've shown is that you believe in the existence of an independent being. I'm glad you've said that, because now you believe in an independent being. So the only, the only issue then, as far as he's concerned, is bringing them to the point of believing that there is one necessary existence that everything returns back to. How is this Dao to Allah? <laughs> but the only thing is, no, 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 hold on, hold on. The only thing is now. Do you know now, how many fundamental no, particles no, no, there no, no, are? No, 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 no problem. But you accept <laughs> because before you were saying there's no such thing as a necessary thing. You're saying now no, that there is. Now hold on, Julie, and, and you're going to retract your statement because that's what every atheist does in front of me. You said. Look then at how deceived this man is, 
and amazed with himself. Quantum field theory. Fundamental right. particles are essentially just energy spikes in no a problem. field. But your belief, and so it sort of depend on energy. Julia, you shouldn't have come here today and tried to challenge me. Because what you've done, no, seriously, you should really think about it before you come and stand and make claims uh, without no, 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 revising I've it. I've told you what you need to Julia, show me Julia, to you know, make your argument. I don't need to show you anything. You yes, have, you do. You shouldn't have come here because what you've done now is you've given me exactly what I wanted. In the beginning, you said that I have to prove that as a necessary independent being. Now you've just said you believe that fundamental particles are not dependent on you. your words exactly. You believe. You said I believe yeah. fundamental particles are not dependent on anything. Now all I'm saying as a Muslim is that my my understanding of so God, let me, let me finish. God let, is, a, let me, is a muon. Let me finish. Let me finish. No, no, your God. My is it? Yeah, your God is a new, uh, is, is that. Now, the only difference between my God and your God is size. That's the only difference. Here's, no, honestly. The only difference between your God and my God is size. This, no doubt, is Tajseem. is making Allah Azza wa Jalla Jisim, a body, just as uh, it uh, has in it Kufa. Whether Muhammad Hijab realizes or not, and this is the issue, the issue is these affairs should not be entered into by the one who hasn't, hasn't, doesn't have a clue concerning the aqidah, the actual aqidah, and the actual belief, and the actual aqidah of Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah. If he's not well grounded, leave this alone. Because you're only going to cause confusion. You're only going to cause people to be more distant from the deen of Allah. Azza wa Jalla. Debated a guy who was supposed to be one of their specialists and he was speaking some rubbish. That is how they're going to leave. They're not going to leave feeling that this is haq and that this is what I should be a be upon and be about. Rather, this guy was just talking rubbish. He just tried to hum humiliate me and then he just dismissed me. The only difference between my God and your God is size. That's the only difference. Here's, no, honestly, you, you need to understand you're not an atheist anymore in front of me. I've converted you straight you're to Islam. You're not an Islam. atheist anymore, he says. <laughs> I've now converted you straight to Islam by her believing that this particle is an independent being. I've converted you straight to Islam. This is the deen of Allah. This is, this is Shahada. This is how we call people to Allah. This is how the prophets and the messengers used to call. Billahi alaykum. What you need to know and believe in is, is the right attributes of God and uh, the Prophet Muhammad as the messenger. So does, does, and obviously, does, if you want to believe in Jesus. Is Muhammad oh, the prophet, Jesus. the messenger no, from no, Yuan, of an electron, no, of no, a no. photon? No, so then is Muhammad the prophet of the muon and the electron and because of the fact that you've attested to the fact that the muon is in your argument a smaller version of Allah inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun uh, then look at how after this this pathetic argument look how he just dismisses uh, this wow. physicist. Either you putting, want to believe in this or you're that. You're putting words in do. my mouth. Josh, Josh this is what you're saying. Uh, Julie, is there anything you want to add? <laughs> Sorry, is okay. it, hey, we're done here. Can I just ask one question? Yes, of course. Um, you're talking about if it's pretty okay, understand, it's a pity that people that give you a chance yeah, to yeah. Yeah. give you a full answer. Yeah, so, Julie, is there anything else you want to say? We're done. We're done here. Is there anything else you want to say? Then we have an individual who comes in and interjects. And this individual, he interjects, and his argument is one that Muhammad Hijab will find difficult as we're going to go on to see. Nice to meet you, man. Nice to meet you. You're, you're, a, nice, you're a nice man. You didn't come like Julie with a hype and then have to leave with her, uh, with her head, uh, with, uh, her tail between her legs. And that's why I try to create the most, get the most cutting edge arguments and present them to you guys. Is the Quran contingent? No, absolutely so not. Is the Quran contingent? Yani, is it dependent upon anything? The Quran is not contingent. No, no, because we believe it's a word, it's an actual real God. Well, that's the issue, isn't it? So, it's not an issue. Well, it you is. You asked the question. Would you yeah, yeah. say yes? No, no, I knew you would say no. Okay, no, I knew you would say no. no. But actually, so it didn't need God. No, no, it is, it is an attribute of God. The Quran well, no, no, is an attribute of God. Need, it's a is it dependent? Is it's it a subgroup? Is it interdependent? The Quran is a subgroup of an attribute of God, which is speech. So it's, which came first? No, it was there at the same time. It was always there. It's, it's, it's eternal. Yeah, well, and Muhammad Hijab he falls into this innovative bid'i statement. He said, "No, no, no! It was there at the same time. It was always there. It is eternal." This statement is one of the bid'ah of the kullabiyah that we discussed earlier. The kullabiyah and the ashaira, they began from the uh, issues that they believed in, 
is that as it relates to the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal, they began to say, because of course the issue of speech and Allah speaking and what they saw the ramifications of that would uh, would be and are, they began to say that Allah Azza wa Jal, the Quran is not the speech of Allah, the Quran that we have. But the speech of Allah is an entity, is one entity that remains with Allah, that is with Allah Azza wa Jal, and that is uh, eternal. And so they began to say that the Quran is uh, eternal since it is uh, from that main body of speech that we consider the, the actual characteristic of Allah's speech. Yeah, it's, it's always there, it's, it's, it's eternal. Yeah, well, eternal. Like, this is what you're saying, but I'm afraid it's not. Can, can, I, can I take a well, line? Thank you very much. Nice try. No, 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 no. Saying, this is what you're saying, but, but, and then he said, oh, thank you, thank you very much. Nice try, anybody else? As though this is some, some gladiator auditorium, you know, who's going to try me next? And so here, the argument that the man makes, he continues to develop it. And, and we see the confusion of Muhammad Hijab. Right, because if you're, if you're right. creating a Quran that's saying all of these things happen, talks about the Bible, talks about the past, talks about the future, then, uh, John, um, I like it, I like it. Um, then, then it's all, it's all the terms. We see that the argument is difficult for him to deal with. And so in order, or as a diversion tactic, what, what, was, what was your name again? So he said, look, the Quran speaks about the Bible. It speaks about the future. So it speaks about past things. It speaks. It speaks about future things. Interdependent, eternal, yeah. and so, not dependent on anything else. And yet, the Quran is determined. Right, right. Is, is dependent okay, on okay. all of the things that the Quran describes happening. Yeah, that's clear. And I understand what you're saying. So right. No, no, because there's a misunderstanding of the Islamic theology here. I mean, it was a big thing, wasn't it? Uh, yeah. I'm a, I'm a Hanbali, right? So I follow Ahmed. No, no, no. Right? Yeah, but it was really, I mean, I think but, a lot but, of people were killed over this, weren't they? Uh, well, not really. I mean, it's not, not a, a lot of people. Not a lot, people. but some people were tortured over it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not really. People were killed over this, weren't they? He said, well, not really. There were hundreds of people who were killed over this. He says, oh, well, not really. A few people were punished. That was about it. So in other words, the speech of Allah is intrinsic to Allah. And the Quran is a subset of that speech, meaning it's also uh, eternal, just like Allah. And so on, and is that is exactly the belief of the Ashairah. There is no uh, issue here that he's established, and there is no way that he's demonstrated that he is upon the belief of Ahl Sunnah is in relation to the Quran and in relation to the speech of Allah Azza wa Jal. That we believe that the speech is qadim and nawa, that is. Speech of Allah is eternal with Allah. The attribute of speech is eternal with Allah Azza wa Jal. But the ahad, that is, each individual instance of Allah Azza wa Jal speaking occurs, as we mentioned earlier, in accordance with the will of Allah. It's also uh, eternal just like Allah. But you could say the same about reality. He said it's inseparable and uh, it's eternal, which is the belief, uh, bid'i, innovated, Bid'a belief of the Kullabi. I mean, even as a recitation, it's quite difficult to have a start and a beginning of something that's eternal. Yeah, no, we don't have a start. Well, the beginning of the, the uh, recitation. No, no, it was always there. Yeah, I know. Here, but the principle spoke. of Ahlul Sunnah should have been established that we believe that the speech of Allah is eternal, but as far as each individual instance of Allah speaking, then it is uh, in accordance with the will of Allah. Allah Azza wa Jal utters them in accordance with his will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That recitation. No, no, no. So here's Begins. a misunderstanding. No, I see what you're saying. Well, because the speech of Allah is one category, I mean, the subs a subset of that is the Quran. That Quran is eternal. It was only transmitted to the Prophet by the angel Gabriel, which was already there eternally in what we call the Lawh al-Mahfuz, the preserved tablet. So now he's made the Lawh al-Mahfuz eternal. And that is not the belief of Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'ah. The Lawh al Mahfud is not eternal. The Lawh al Mahfud is a creation from the creation of Allah Azza wa Jal. And so he said it was there, it is there, was there eternally in the Lawh al Mahfud. Bartin. The, the universe can be taken out of existence, whereas Allah can never be taken out of existence. Can the Quran be taken out? No. Why not? And the Quran in the, in the recitational form cannot yeah. be taken out of existence. <coughs> in physical form, like books and stuff. No, I'm yeah. not talking about that. I'm, that will happen, I'm but, not talking but, about Then we hear this establishment of the two forms of Quran. 
the eternal Quran and the Quran that is uh, recited and that we have. This is the belief of the Asha'i. Right, so we would say that it's, a, it's an attribute of a, uh, it's one of his many attributes. Yes, but his mercy, but then, but, is, what? His, his merciful acts are different from it's his like mercy, saying, right? It's like, no, but his, no, no, his mercy I, is an attribute, but his merciful acts are... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so then the other guy, he makes a statement saying, well, isn't his merciful acts are different from his mercy, right? This statement is more in accordance with the belief of his sunnah than what... what Muhammad Hijab is saying, yeah, I mean, that there is, that we have the mercy of Allah, we believe in the mercy of Allah, and then we have the act of Allah Azza wa Jal showing mercy. The act of Allah Azza wa Jal showing mercy is again connected to his will. So this is, no, no, classical theism is held to that. Well, so I'm no, saying that's look, a mere logical study. It's actually look, a, a fallacy, in fact. It's, it's not a fallacy. It's, it's, a, fallacy. it's a traditional position in theistic thought. It's a fallacious that, one. No, it's not because it tries to uphold. Right, let's, let's not no, no, but no, no. One second. No, one second. One second. I'm, I'm, yeah, but it shouldn't just be because he's an atheist. We're, 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 yeah. di we're discussing about something which you are holding as true. Right, and, so, and so it shouldn't matter that there's an atheist here listening or what have you. Let's discuss these issues, and that is the case with as it relates to the dawah. Yeah, only because of the fact that there's a particular individual here, we're not going to speak about uh, an issue that could guide all of the people, including that Christian that's, that he's speaking to. So, is the Quran able to exist eternally without Allah? No. No, exactly. Because the Quran well, is an expression of Allah. Well, then it's contingent on Allah. No, right. it's, it's like, it's like for, for example... Well, I, I think that's a fair argument. No, no, no. So then you you're, you're saying like yeah. there's this necessary thing. Yes. There is absolutely nothing to actually say this is Allah. All right. Okay. It is just yeah. a necessary thing. Thank there's nothing much. to say it is conscious, Perfect. it is personal. Yes. It no, no. interacts with people. You're absolutely right. That's yeah. another yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, I want to hear you. And then you no, can no. only make descriptive yeah. features of it. So like let's you say know. with respect to time, like it's timeless, yes. it's spaceless. Yes. Yes. There's nothing prescriptive about it. Thank you you can't much. derive an ought from an ease. It no, just is. Yes. And right. now you're saying it's Allah. No, so no, that's no, where the problem right. yeah, I'm right. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, yeah, and that's, that's what he wasn't saying that. No, no, you're yeah. right. And you're right. So we come to the conclusion that actually you're all like absolutely right. And it actually doesn't. And then he goes on to mention that this is one of the issues that I have with Muslim philosophers, who he himself is one of them. And so, Ikhwan, that, just, that is just one of the debates of Muhammad Hijab. And you'll find when you go through the debates and listen to them, that the man is not well grounded in the Aqidah. The man, the, the man is not grounded in the Aqidah Salafiyah at all. His claim to be Athari, as I say and I mention, uh, is not substantiated by his method of debating and speaking about Allah, speaking about the Aqidah, Asma'i wa Sifat, and so on. No, no, you're right, and you're right. That, no, not that it's Allah with all of the attributes mentioned in the Quran. Absolutely. Do you know what? I want to shake your hand for saying that. Shake my hand, I shake my hand as well. Because this so is, after all of this argument, after the hours of standing and debating, he accepts that this actually does not point towards and lead towards Allah. Then, ya Torah, why, oh why, would you use a method of debating that you yourself accept does not lead to Allah Azza wa Jal and call this da'wah to Allah Azza wa Jal? And then establish organizations raising money for this da'wah to Allah Azza wa Jal, which doesn't actually lead except to a wajib wujud, except to a necessary existence that is not in any way, shape or form, necessarily a conclusion that people are going to come to, that this is Allah. So I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for allowing me to make a contribution to public discourse. Whether you're a Muslim or non-Muslim, I genuinely feel like such contribution is what will make what the world a better place, you frankly. In the existence of an independent being. <laughs> Try to create the most, no, 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 get the most cutting edge arguments and God present them to you guys. God your God is I'm That's not doing pranks, difference. I'm putting heavy machinery on the table, heavy ideological and philosophical and religious material, you know, uh, machinery on the table. Uh, and still people are, alhamdulillah, they're watching. Anymore in front of me. I've converted you straight to Islam. Try and spread this to this channel to as many people as you can. The videos that I do, if you feel like there's one video in particular, get as many people to subscribe to this channel in particular because it does help me 
access certain things and do certain things I would not have otherwise been able to do. It was just a little bit of bringing out an argument and the whole new atheist movement in front of my very okay. eyes. Could you instead of preaching make your argument? And as for the non-Muslims, you know, I'm always keeping you guys in mind and that's why I try to create the most, get the most cutting edge arguments and present them to you guys. And I want to thank you and also you have a lot of praiseworthy uh, traits not least among which is bravery for subjecting yourself to maybe a um, contradictory perspective to the one that you